Good morning, Alfred. Morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug, too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't training. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. What in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right! That's using your noggin! I'd better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Celine. <sighs> you haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. Do you know what you are, Alfred? A barbarian in princess clothing. Huh, what a nice thing to say. Thanks, Celine. How did that strike you as a compliment? You meant that I've got muscle all over like a barbarian, right? That's real praise, even if you're just saying it because I'm your brother. That is not at all how I meant it. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay, Celine. If that wasn't the idea, then what did you mean by it? Your first impulse on hearing we were low on water was to dig a well. Oh, right. Some mix-up, huh? Boy, was my face red. Would that it were the only example? What about the time you heard some soldiers wishing they could cleanse themselves? You immediately leapt to dig them a hot spring! Oh. Uh, do we not like hot springs? <sighs> that isn't my point. Why is your first instinct always to go digging? Because it's good training! Save your breath! It's instincts like that that mark you as barbaric. Which would be fine for most men, but you are a prince. Try to act the part. Alright, Celine. I get your point. From now on, I'm gonna train even harder. No more skip days. Pretty soon, I'll be so beefy that everyone can tell right off what a barbarian I am. No more confusion. Ugh. Once again, you have completely missed the point. Ugh. What are you doing there, Alfred? Digging another well? Or is this more training? Something like that. Trying to keep up my health, you know? Yeah. If I train hard enough, then... <sighs> I won't suffer like I used to. Alfred? <sighs> What's wrong? Don't worry, Celine. It's, it's just an attack. It'll pass soon. <sighs> an attack? Is it your old illness? Oh, I was doing so well. That part of my life was supposed to be long gone. Wait here! I'll fetch someone at once! No, stop! What? Why should I? I don't want anyone to see me like this. Not our allies, the emblems, or the divine dragon. I can't let them see this. A weak prince unfit to fight who could collapse any day? None of them would see you that way. They're far too gracious for that. But I would still know. And besides, I don't want them to worry about me. As far as they're concerned, I want to be the spirited prince who loves working out. Just let me rest for a while. I'll be fine. Please, Celine. Very well. But know that if your condition ever worsens, I will seek help. Thanks. Having a sister like you is true happiness, if you ask me. That's your idea of true happiness? Don't be absurd. Well, what about you then? What brings you true happiness? Nothing. Really? You've got good friends, you got your health, and none of that does it? I take joy in those things, to be sure, but I don't value happiness as a life goal. After all, what if I found it? Then my whole life afterward would be spent looking fondly back. <laughs> really? Even if something better comes along? The possibility that it never will is terrifying. I couldn't bear it. I've always yearned for happiness, 
and saw only misery. Like the day I fled from the castle. If Firene had fallen, or Mother died, or you were lost to us, I wondered, how would I respond? And now this? If things get worse and you have to leave, what will I... How can I... <sighs> hey, I'm not gonna die, okay? I'll be fine if I stick with my training. You really do have the mind of a barbarian. If only you had the body to match. <laughs> I'll get there. That's why I work out. Whoa, Celine, look! You see that four-leaf clover? Mm-hmm. Where? Right by your foot. There you go. A small joy. A small joy. That takes me back. We often sought such things when we were younger. At that age, I was better at it than you. I wonder when you surpassed me. <sighs> Talking to you makes me feel better. Chalk up another small joy for me. I'm not certain that counts. But I'm relieved to hear that the worst has passed. Let me make it up to you, Celine. I'll find lots of little joys and bring them to you. I can't promise everything will be fine with me, but we can prop each other up. For fear and I. Yes, Alfred. I will support you in anything. Whatever else happens, we can make sure we return to Firenay. Together. <laughs>